Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a rather charming sort of teddy bear item. It, it, it's a 19, well, originally published in the 1930s, but this edition is 1948, um, bound in, in sort of limp um, um, cloth, uh, glazed cloth. It's called The Teddy Bear Infant Reader Book 3 from The Adventures of a Teddy Bear by H.C. Craddock, and it, it's an adaptation for school reading use. Uh, and there is the name of the school, Kensington High School. Um, and it is a story about a teddy bear. When morning came, all the trees were empty. The children had gone. Teddy could not find them anywhere. And there's an initial J there. Some child has written. But they're rather charming, very detailed in, in reality, very crisp, rather. Um, this is rather blurry, low resolution. But they're very sweet um, actually, uh, illustrations. And the story is actually sort of slightly surreal, um, as, as children's stories sometimes are. I, I won't give you the, um, the, 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 the plot away, but he goes to sort of fairy islands um, and does all sorts of strange um, uh, little ad adventures there. There's a charming um, one of, 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 of little dolls on, on, on the river, a, a, a wonderful one of the, the fairy island there with the teddy bear arriving. It's all very deep. You can see all the fairies and their wands and so on. Um, it is all rather strange. He, he has a very various adventures and it says in the morning Teddy thought that's another adventure and he wrote in his book Telegram Fairies in his notebook he had written a list of his adventures saved the life of a fat little girl being headmaster slept in a tree Telegram Fairies they're the things that he did on the island but it's all a bit strange and surreal but there he is and, and the illustrations are rather charming um, uh, elephants and owls and so on. There must be a dozen or so, ten or a dozen um, charming little illustrations like that. The book is scarce, or this adaptation is scarce, on the 140 million volume Abe, some spelling tips there, uh, uh, 140 million volume Abe book, second-hand and antiquarian book selling site. I can't find a single copy of this book for sale. A little worn but intact, a charming children's book called The Infant Teddy Bear or the Teddy Bear Infant Reader. This edition is 1948. Thank you very much indeed. Bye.